Hello, I'm Uriah Kaiser with the News and Messenger. We're inside our Woodbridge newsroom on Sunday afternoon. And while it's quiet, we wanted to go ahead and bring you this video blog as we continue to cover the execution of Paul Powell. It's a story that gripped the Prince William region 10 years ago when it happened and continues to draw attention now as Powell nears his ex execution date uh, on Tuesday. Powell has been convicted of killing 16-year-old Stacy Reed inside of her Yorkshire home in 1999. After he killed her, uh, he also uh, raped and brutalized her 14-year-old sister, her then 14-year-old sister, Christy, inside the same home. It's been a case with many twists and turns. Uh, it's went to tw trial twice. Uh, it's a case that involves uh, many taunting letters, even at admission an admission letter that Paul wrote to his prosecutor. You can read uh, everything about this case and his trials and uh, you know, more details as they continue to develop uh, the history uh, and, and what's coming on Tuesday at our website at insidenova.com, chock full of information on the Powell case. Uh, the intention of this blog is to, to not only bring you new information as it develops, but kind of give you the story uh, behind the story as we here at the News and Messenger work to bring it to you. I, I, as I said earlier, it's an interesting story, one that continues to develop. Uh, we, there was a comment on our website this morning. Um, someone was asking, where are the pro-life people? Where are the ones that say uh, this person has a right to life? Uh, why aren't they speaking out? Uh, to be completely honest, there hasn't been a lot of that on our website. Uh, we do get a lot of comments, um, but uh, there's a possibility that either the pro-lifers uh, have not uh, found our website or have chosen not to comment on it, or the, the, the simple fact may be that the case has gripped Prince William County so much that many who live here think that uh, even after uh, uh, admission uh, that the execution may be the right thing for him. It's uh, one we'll have to, to see and one uh, we'll have to watch as it plays out. Um, on a personal note, I, I've never covered anything like this before. This is a first for me as a reporter. So, so as I learn new details, I will bring them to you. Uh, we'll both be in this boat together as, as, as the News and Messenger works to bring you this story. What we're expecting in Jarrett, Virginia on Tuesday uh, when we go down to, to cover uh, the execution will be outside of the correctional facility and we're told to expect protesters, those who are against the death penalty, and we're told to expect people who are for the death penalty. Uh, don't want to use the term uh, a circus scene, but uh, we're, we're told to expect uh, people from both sides. So we will work to bring you that story as well. Uh, as far as we know, we won't be inside uh, to, to view the execution. The ex uh, in Virginia, uh, the family, members of the media, and, uh, and residents are allowed inside, but there are a limited number of seats. And at this point, we don't have one of those seats, so we'll, we'll, we will bring you the story from outside the, the correctional facility. Uh, and if anything changes, of course, we'll let you know uh, on our website and, of course, here on this blog, on this YouTube blog. For now, that's the story from here. We're going to go ahead and make sure everything is set to go as, as, we, as we hit the road on Tuesday. Uh, make sure our, our, our gear is, uh, is ready, our, our reporters are prepped, our photographers have their cameras and lenses uh, clean, shined up, and polished, ready to go. Uh, we will leave Woodbridge uh, Tuesday morning. Uh, we should uh, get in, we're expected to get into the area about 3 o'clock and begin coverage on our website at InsideNova.com after that. Hope to bring you more on this blog before we leave, so to, do feel free to check back early and often. The website is youtube.com backslash wahua. That's my personal page, and you spell it W-H-A-H-O-O-A. -O -O For now, that's it. We'll talk to you soon.